Hi everyone, today I'm in my garage and I'll show you how I made my garage door to be controllable through Bluetooth Low Energy so I can close it and open it from the phone. Okay, so currently this is my garage door and over here is the motor that controls it. It's powered from the mains here. It doesn't have any smart features whatsoever. So there's a cable that goes through the ceiling and comes here from where I can control it and I can uh, lower it or open it up depending on the current condition. That cable from the wall comes here in this plug. So I'm planning to add the controller on top and then I'll just connect my wires from the relay to basically override the switch and that's how I plan to have the control enabled without actually modifying any of the uh, garage door functionality as it is now. And here is the proof of concept version of the device. It uses the Node MCU. It uses the BLE module from Reex, which is the start of today's project. And the module in question is the RYBG211 uh, light version, which is the evaluation board for its smaller brother, the RYBG211. It's really a small factor uh, BLE board that has all the Bluetooth functionality hidden away. So you're basically just interacting with it through 80 commands to received and sent data over BLE uh, so it makes it really easy to be integrated into any project and at the same time it can connect to up to eight devices this module was kindly provided from Rayx for free for this project so I must thank them for that and additionally we have one push button that's hidden behind this cable here and one LED red LED here that it's basically uh, gonna be replaced with the relay that will push the switch on the garage door and there is a companion app to the module that I've built using the MIT app inventor and what happens is once the connection is established the app can send the command so that the node MCU once it receives that command from the BLE module it triggers that LED. Uh, in reality, it will trigger the relay pin to open the garage door or close it if it's open. So there is no state remembering, just a simple command that each time that I press the button on the app, the command is sent over BLE and the relay will turn on to either close it or open the garage. While the opening works as expected a major security feature of the whole project is that not all the phones are allowed to connect to the device internally the device uses the eprom of the microcontroller to save the allowed devices the BLE module can connect to up to eight devices so also eight devices are being stored in the uh, settings so and that's the purpose of the button here if i press and hold the button for five seconds the microcontroller will enter a pairing mode where in the time period of 30 seconds uh, it will be allowed to pair new devices. While in pairing mode, if I uh, press again, the whole chip will be basically reset. So all of the devices will be deleted and we can connect uh, new devices. Let me demonstrate that uh, once it exits uh, the pairing mode. So I have a, a new phone here that is not connected and currently the microcontroller is not in pairing mode so if I try to pair with the uh, device it was said that it couldn't pair because of incurrent pin or pass key uh, and that is true even if I try to refresh uh, and connect it again the pairing will basically fail because the device is not into pairing mode and will actively disconnect and reject any connections that are made so now let's put it into pairing mode we press until we see the blue light here turn on then release and it will start to blink so now if we refresh and we try to pair 
uh, the device should be paired so we are now paired and that means that this device now remember the address of this phone and it will allow connections each time that we try to connect it with the app so now let's uh, wait for it to exit pairing mode the pairing mode is active for 30 seconds and if we now open the remote we can refresh the connection and we see now that we are connected to the device so we can now send commands from the new phone and with that we are basically limiting who can access the garage door and who cannot so we only add devices that are connected during that pairing period for which you will need a physical access to the whole module now to convert the whole thing uh, into a finalized project let's build this setup into a breadboard and we'll attach it to the garage door and before jumping into soldering the project, I must thank today's sponsor, which is Altium Designer and its corresponding part search engine, Octobart. Altium Designer is the leading schematic capture and PCB design software that allows you to design great PCBs as a professional, as well as a hobbyist like me. With Altium Designer, you also get access to the Altium 365 platform that unites PCB design, MCAT, data management, and teamwork. With Altium 365, you can design directly from the browser, you can share your project on the web, do design reviews or get feedback from anyone online. The integrated real-time component management, one-click manufacturing outputs and centralized cloud storage make Altium 365 the best tool that is gifted to you and your team for free with every Altium license. Visit the link in the video description to start your free trial and get a 30% discount on any license. Okay, so here is what I ended up with. Uh, it's not pretty, but it's compact. It will fit in the project box that I'm gonna put in. And at the end, I used the five volt relay instead of the 12 volt relay because I had issues with uh, the 12 volt relay that I had. So I bought the five volt relay and that works as expected. So we can send the command and we can see that the relay now opens and that those two contacts I will use to bridge the current switch that's installed in the garage. To save some space on the board, you can see it there, I've placed the voltage regulator, so the step down module. You can learn more about step down modules on the video here. And from there, I take the 12 volts from the power supply run it down to, to 5 volts and then supply 5 volts to the microcontroller and also to the relay and then from the onboard regulator of the microcontroller I'm supplying 3.3 volts for the uh, Bluetooth module and everything seems to be working fine so now it's time to place everything up within the enclosure and let's mount it up to the garage door And one last test before mounting. Let's hear if the relay will click. And it does. So, off to the garage. Thank you. 
So I really hope that you liked this video and if you did then please subscribe below to the channel so you can see more videos like this in the future. And before you go, I want to recommend you this other video where I made the GPS tracker for docs using another Rayx product that does not need a SIM card to send the data.